I find it a little bit sad, depressing, just how many gay people have uncircled me on Google Plus since I made these more recent videos. I find it really sad how I am supposed to have a very particular opinion about a number of different subjects if I'm gay. I... It, quite frankly, it pisses me off. It's not just, it's not just depressing, it, it, it makes me angry. The gay community is supposed to celebrate diversity, but this is the opposite. You know? My last videos make me get viewed by the gay community as bigoted. And I just think that's lame. I think that's so lame. It's just kind of like, join our club or you're a bigot. It goes right back to the, the thing that I would find uh, when I'd go to gay clubs of the, uh, the attitude of, well, if you're, not, if you're a gay man and you're not at least slightly feminine, then, then I don't trust you. You're not a real gay man. You're hiding something of yourself. That sort of attitude. You know, and, and I know what it's like to celebrate my feminine side. It was fun. But do I have to wear my feminine side on my sleeve all the time? A lot of straight guys don't like really, really feminine men, and a lot of straight guys, I mean, yes, I just said that, a lot of gay guys don't seem to like really masculine guys, if they're gay anyway. And I just, you know, I, I've struggled with this for quite a while. There's a lot of keeping up appearances in the gay male community. A lot of it. And yet I do find, in actuality, a lot of misogyny within the gay male community. It's there. It's there just as much as it is in the straight community. It's there just as strong. But... There's this keeping up appearances thing. Now, I'm not suggesting that being misogynistic is a good thing, because it's not. But... It's like, well, I can't be misogynistic. I celebrate my femininity, therefore I can't be misogynistic. It's the kind of attitude that there is, you know. Um, I mean, just how many gay men will call women fish or other rather degrading terms just because they have a, you know, women have a vagina. You know, and, and I get that, you know, 
sometimes people can be turned off or even disgusted by a body part and that's their right and that within itself doesn't make someone misogynistic or if it's the other way you know misandric or whatever just that by itself doesn't make someone that way but when the degrading comments come out and you only hear it when gay men are talking to other gay men it's it's just a little disturbing you know and I don't think most of the people that do this even know that's what they're doing. And I am against misogyny. I am against misandry. I'm against both of those things. And I call out when I see both of those things. It's just sad that so many people, when I call someone out on either side of those things, I get thought of as being, oh, I'm the enemy. You know, and I bet there's a lot, I, going back to the beginning of this video, you know, I bet there are a lot of gay men who feel very similar to, to the way I feel about this stuff, but they're too fucking chicken shit to actually admit it because they, they know that the people would, uh, they would get a lot of friction from it. They would get a lot of people pissed off about it. So. And they would lose friends. I'm sick of worrying about that kind of thing. It's still painful when people don't want to be friends with me, but, um, you know, because I have a differing opinion or I'm, I'm actually honest about the things that they're too chicken shit to be honest about, but, um, I, I would rather people hate me for what I am than to love me for what I'm not. <laughs> 